Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Rachel Davison and these are my girls, Heidi, Emily, Anna, and Jane. And today we're gonna show you how to freeze some different fruits and vegetables so that you can eat local fresh food all year round. We're gonna start today with green beans, which is just slightly more complicated than some because you should blanch them uh, before you freeze them. Most vegetables you should blanch blanch before you freeze uh, because it stops the enzymes from decaying the vegetable and it also preserves nutrients and holds the color. So if the first thing we're going to do with our beans is we're going to break off this tip. We don't want that on there and the kids can do that really really well. If you want to flip it around and, and break off this tail you can as well but that's optional that's perfectly edible. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just give them a quick wash so let's just Give them a rinse in cool water, get off any dirt or, or anything that's on them. That looks perfect. I'm gonna cut them into one inch pieces. That's totally optional. You can definitely blanch and freeze them just like this. I like putting mine into soups and casseroles and then I want smaller pieces. If you usually eat them as a side dish, just leave them whole and it's very, very easy. While I'm prepping my beans, you're gonna wanna put a pot of water on to boil. You wanna use a nice large pot so that when you put your beans in there, it comes back to a boil very quickly. So you need lots of water. I'm gonna cut my beans into one inch pieces or so. And like I said earlier, I just, I like them that size in the cooking that I do with them. But once they're cut, I'm gonna put them in here. This is actually my steamer, but it sits all the way into this pot so, and the beans submerge. Uh, it's, it's an optional piece of equipment, you don't need that. You can just throw the beans right in and take them out with a slotted spoon or a, or a colander. Before I put my water in, or I'm sorry, my beans into blanche, I'm gonna make sure I have an ice bath ready because as soon as you take them out of that hot water, you need to plunge them into cold. That's the method of blanching. So you're doing a really quick cook and then you're stopping the cooking immediately. So I'm gonna, I have a bunch of ice in here. I'm gonna put some cold water in there as well. And then I'm gonna add some salt somewhere between a teaspoon and a tablespoon and then I'm gonna slide my beans in as soon as it comes back to a boil which actually you can see it's hardly even stopped boiling I'm gonna start counting three minutes so you're gonna set a timer for three minutes let's put our lid on here depending on what you're blanching your um, your blanching times are gonna vary Beans is three minutes. If you want to be blanching a different vegetable, just look up the different blanching times. There's lists of them that you can find online and it's very handy. Our three minutes is up, so I'm gonna turn the pot off. Or if I'm doing another batch, I guess I would leave it on, but I'm gonna pull my beans out. See how brightly colored they are? It's awesome. And I'm gonna plunge them immediately into my cold water. So I'm gonna give it a little stir and then they should stay in the ice water for the same amount of time that you had them in your blanching water. So three minutes in the ice water. Just give it a stir every now and again, otherwise the water can create hot pockets and cold pockets. I'm gonna take them out of the water and I'm gonna lay them on a, just a clean kitchen towel. A piece of paper towel would work really well as well, just to get off excess water so that when I freeze them, they don't stick to the pan too bad. Just gonna give that a little pat dry. And then I am gonna dump them in here. So when, usually I do very large batches at a time and I'm gonna use a cookie sheet or a whole bunch of cookie sheets at a time. This will work just fine for today. Okay, and then we're just gonna keep repeating that process until our pan is full. And once our pan is full, you're gonna slide it in the freezer and let it freeze for about two hours or until they're, until they're nice and firm so that when you dump them in your bulk bag they won't stick together in a big clump. Okay so this has been about two hours and you can see our beans are nicely frozen. You don't want to leave them for more than three hours because then they can get freezer burnt just because they're sitting there uncovered. So I am going to just use a big freezer bag. Make sure you label it with the date so that you know when you froze these. Start filling the bag up. So girls can you pick up beans and put them in the bag?
One vegetable that I love to freeze is zucchini, or it's also called summer squash. I love making the um, cream of zucchini soup with this. Tamara showed you how to do that last year, and if you want, you can uh, click on the link to watch that video. Um, I love making chocolate zucchini cupcakes. I love making cakes. I love making loaves. And just about every recipe that I use with grated zucchini calls for two cups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash these and then I'm gonna grate them with a cheese grater. You can also use a food processor if you're doing large amounts. And I'm just gonna freeze them in two cup portions so that when it's time to use them, they're in the right size. So I'm gonna give these uh, a little rinse here. And then I'm gonna just cut off both ends. Cut off that end and that end. Same with this one, just cut off the ends. And then I'm just gonna use a cheese grater and I'm gonna grate the zucchini. When their grater fills up, we're gonna put it in a measuring cup so that we know when we have two cups. I always freeze a combination of yellow and green together. I just like the variation of color. If you're doing them in small portions and you don't wanna use so many um, freezer bags, you can just freeze them in any, like a sandwich bag and then put them all into one big freezer Ziploc. But you wanna have them all, in the end, you wanna have them all in a freezer Ziploc. I've dumped that into the measuring cup here. So that's two cups of zucchini. So the girls are gonna keep grating while I fill up our first bag and we'll just keep doing that till I think we have enough for the year. I'm gonna uh, just freeze it nice and flat. The flatter it is, the quicker it'll freeze. And that's how you freeze shredded zucchini. It's very, very simple and very satisfying to pull out of the freezer. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to freeze is sweet cherries. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our cherries. So let's dump them here in our, in our colander. Let's give them a little rinse. They actually just taste delicious, pulled straight out of the freezer. Um, you can also throw them on your granola and yogurt. They're great baby food, whatever, all sorts of things. So this here is a cherry pitter. When I freeze them, I like to pit them and then chop them in half, and that way they're ready for baking. You can also just pit them and leave them whole, if you'd rather. So this cherry pitter we sell in our market. It's very, very simple. Uh, we also sell a few other kinds that pit four or five or six at a time. Uh, but I, I like the simplicity of this one. So Heidi's gonna start by pitting this cherry and every girl's gonna get a turn, okay? Here we go. The pit falls out the bottom, the cherry falls out the side. That's perfect. Good job. And once they've pitted them, I'm just gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna throw it in my, on my pan here. I'm gonna freeze it on this pan. I'm putting them on parchment because cherries are quite juicy and I just don't want to have a big mess frozen to the bottom of the pan. Squeeze. Cut it in half or do you wanna eat it? <laughs> it is hard to get cherries into the freezer when you're working with the kids. <laughs> and once the pan is filled up, I'm gonna throw it into the freezer and let it freeze for a couple of hours until they're nice and hard. And then I'm gonna dump them into a big bulk bag. My very favorite thing to put in the freezer is blueberries. There's nothing simpler uh, and the kids absolutely love them. We put them in oatmeal just about every morning in the winter. I stick them into school lunches. I put them in baking, all kinds of things. And my favorite part about blueberries is there's no prep work, there's no pitting, there's no blanching, nothing. I take my blueberries, I dump them in a bag, and I put them in the freezer. And it's awesome. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.